this is my Castle Creations Mamba X Crawler Edition review. That's right, they brought out a Crawler Edition. Quite why they've paired it with the Mamba X, I'm not too sure. This thing will take up to a staggering 4S pack on the motor. Well, the ESC is uh, guaranteed up to 6S, just 4S on the motor on this one. Now, it says fully waterproof on the box however when you read inside the packaging on the uh, previous Mamba X I've got uh, it's like waterproof but not submersible for any period of time uh, so it's maybe not going to be quite as waterproof as the uh, Traxxas uh, TRX4 setup is given the price of this I'm not prepared to fully test the thing underwater simply too much risk that said this is my test vehicle of choice for it. This is the uh, Red Cat Everest 10 RC Rock Crawler. Yours for about uh, 120 bucks or so. Very, very good. Lots of metal in here. Uh, lots of clearance. I thought it would be an ideal test vehicle. And the thing isn't waterproof itself. The, there's not a waterproof ESC fitted onto here. We get nice, easy access to the motor on there. So it should be a fairly uh, straightforward conversion uh, to fit the uh, the Castle Crawler Edition setup so, on there. Let's have a look what we get for our money. <laughs> Okay, motor-wise, we're getting a censored 14 series uh, motor. The, the thing on this, it should give it a very, very high level of control when you're crawling. You just want an inch along uh, being censored. It should be a superb for crawling. A little pack of screws in there. Other than the censored control, I could not see why you would want to uh, fit this uh, sort of option to a crawler. And there we've got our censored motor lead. And that plugs in the end of the can, just here. A, B and C on the markings on there, absolutely essential with a Mamba X that these correspond with the ESC. Don't just plug the leads in at random and think you'll swap one of them over. You can fry something with the castles if you get it wrong. One thing I would say about the castle motors, does have a very solid, very well engineered feel too. Moving on to the Mamba X, you can obviously deliver a huge amount of power through this thing, way more than you would need from a crawler. So. I'm not maybe quite seeing the benefit of this, but it's always handy to have another Mamba X, and as castles still have mine, uh, then I do need one. Uh, I know they state waterproof on there, uh, but when you read the uh, specifics of the instruction manual, we've got our driver's ed guide in there, our quick start guide, and the little Mamba X tucked away in there. Before I fit it, there is the ABC I mentioned on the uh, end of the uh, the Mamba X. Also, you will know I've had a Traxxas plug fitted to it. Got my local hobby store to fit this. Uh, I would recommend that you do the same as it doesn't come with any one uh, plug on the end of it when you buy it. Anyway, as ever, with a motor and ESC combo unboxing, there's not a lot to show you. So, I'm going to get straight down to work, fit it into my Red Cat Everest 10 and uh, take it outside for a spin. Now, I'm going to have a quick read through the uh, driver's ed guide uh, so that I can set up things like the drag brake on here as that's going to be key when you're out crawling. Depending on which way your motor is mounted in the crawler, you could find the thing is in reverse automatically when you fit it. Don't be tempted to shift those wires around. Keep them in the ABC order, otherwise you can risk frying the ESC. It's not like other brushless systems on it. Luckily, I can move, reverse the throttle on the transmitter. Well, I've got my throttle right over around now. Just been playing around with it. Although it's brushless, it's certainly not, you're not going to go ballistic with this. You're not going to go like a 60 mile an hour car out of uh, anything with this crawler motor. So we're just going to wind this up to uh, full speed. <laughs> And that's flat out. That's flat out. So you, you're not going to get earth shatteringly big speeds out of this thing. Looks to my mind, they've hit the uh, nail on the head with this motor setup versus uh, any kind of crawler setup. That's the Castle Creations, a Mamba X installed. The uh, 2280 kilovolt motor uh, for crawling also installed under there. This the is about the most brutal way to uh, test out any uh, drag brake I know. So uh, let's just see just how good we are at holding on that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh. Comedy moment. The battery has just fallen out. Too funny for words. Well, the script for this stuff never in all my dreams did I imagine that would happen. Just shows how brutal or not the stair test can be though. That drag brake is just checking this thing. Many of my trucks that have tried this and failed. People might look at it and think, why? until you realize what the truck is actually going through. Woo, and that brushless motor has got the power there if you want it. Now, got a cute steering wheel, but I ain't managing to steer that far over. But that drag brake is uh, 
set on 100% there. In fact, if anything, I'm going to have to ooh, let's just uh, straighten it up. That's quite impressive. God, I watched the throttle on this thing. That's got a huge amount of torque low down. Very, very much. Look at that. Just inch it down and away. That is quite impressive. The stair test. People may look at it and wonder why I say why not. It is a very good demo of how well the uh, ESC, etc. is controlling the car. In this case, uh, it's controlling it pretty damn well. Anyway, on to the, well, the outside part of the Castle Creations Crawler Edition Mamba X test. Let's see how she gets on. Now I can tell you, it was already feeling like it's got a bucket load of torque on there. Throttle maybe could do with uh, dialing down a little bit because uh, low speed initial thoughts are low speed handling on it. Very good. Just wants to inch along. Now the tyres on the red cat are maybe not the best in, but uh, at the same time, it's a nice easy vehicle to demo with. Anyway, as much as I hate to do it with crawlers, let's give it some full punch. Woo! <laughs> I think I may need to adjust that drag brake. Okay, I've still got the 100% drag brake on there from uh, last night. It's not got that high end uh, on a high speed. Uh, anyone who's fitting it thinking they're going to get like a 60, 70 mile an hour crawl. I think again, that's not where this thing's coming from. But what it is coming from is that I must talk to it, I must push that bowler simply out of the way. It needs to go round them and you can move them out of the it's way. It's the Castle Creations Crawler Edition, a good investment. It is quite a lot of money to spend. In fact, it costs probably, well, considerably more than this crawler did, nearly double what this crawler did. But, initial impressions are, with that torque and drag brake, it's possibly worth it. But we shall see. Okay, well, the uh, control on the theme of that senseless motor, just look at that, just inching forwards over the leaves there. Just gonna let the talk do the work and all being well. We'll get up there. Slowly does it. And that is where this truck might have struggled before, but this thing's got so much torque on there. We're simply just gonna walk over the top. A little bit of almost too much torque twist there. See on the body, catching on the back. But uh, undoubtedly people will come up with uh, mods to uh, eliminate that torque twist. Well, they, uh, Castle Creations Crawl Edition gives the thing a good turn of speed. That is most definitely not what Castle Creations are about when they fit the Mambrex set up with the 2280kV motor on it. So let's go at the trail. Well, I'm going to carry on down the trail, but my so, first thought uh, is you've got an immense amount of torque on there. I've never had a torque twist issue on this body before, but on that last thing here, now we were getting the body fouling because we torque simply pulling it uh, over. Uh, which is uh, something I maybe didn't expect quite so much. Um, low speed crawling with a senseless setup, it, just the level of control is phenomenal, but I definitely need, um, I would definitely suggest dialing down the, the dual rate uh, on the throttle. You even I'm just squeezing just a millimeter at a time, uh, and it still just wants to kind of rock it uh, away. But overall, very initial impressions, very pleased with the thing. This is certainly uh, one thing I would say is a mistake putting the uh, the drag brake on 100% for the conditions uh, that I'm taking it through. Uh, now, bearing in mind that front waterproof uh, front servo may or may not be waterproof. Let's uh, just punch through there and clean through there cleanly. Small river crossing on there. I'm not too worried about going through the uh, the servo with that. As I say, that drag brake. No problem at all. Just wants to let the torque walk through it. Literally just millimetre of throttle on there. And I think it's got more than enough torque to just walk over this lot. Expect on the core all the way the big ground clearance. This thing would just be a monster. Just trying to see if we can get that wheel clearance on there. Yep. Will we get over on the back or are we going to snag it out? And it's definitely got punch enough to pull you through in situations like that. It has got more than it. You see it wants to lift that front wheel straight away there. You've almost got uh, enough power to get yourself in trouble here. OK, 
Okay, throw a bit of bigger boy uh, stuff at it so it gets on. Again, it may be let down by the tyres. That's where the drag brake does come in handy. It's just been able to inch forwards like that. Not holding quite 100%, but not holding badly nonetheless. As I say, easing up on that, uh, getting that throttle sorted would definitely uh, help me out. But I think just got plenty of torque. Just walk through there with ease. Not a problem at all. Whereas this truck might have struggled a little bit with the stock motor. Not with this then. Very difficult to get across when you're in a motor in ASC at low speed uh, test to see how, uh, how it handles to people. So hopefully I'm able to communicate that to people. As I say, for trail conditions... You might not necessarily want that drag brake set on the 100% because uh, I think you would find that a pain in the neck with it stopping as it was doing. Yeah, it would definitely would struggle on things like this before, but now... Ah, oh, Richie. Now, he says. The... And we still managed to get around. Bit of brute force needed at the end there, though. Now, you can see the drag right there fighting, was fighting there to stop the thing rolling downhill. Well, the wave of torque that you've got on there means it's the smaller sticks certainly are becoming less of an issue because it will simply flatten them, whereas some of my other trucks would have struggled on them. So the main thing, about this Castle Croatian's, uh, so the main thing about the Castle Croatian's uh, crawler edition, which is what they refer to it as, is you get an absolute mass of torque on there. Well, my choice of crawler today, hopefully, has uh, still been able to do the job in terms of demonstrating the uh, Mamba X brushless setup on here. I was slightly skeptical when Jim in the model shop uh, persuaded me to buy one to start with, but I've been quite impressed by it. As we could. Uh, Test that front server a bit. No problem at all there. I hope you enjoyed that uh, review of the uh, Castle Creations uh, Crawler Edition setup there with its uh, Mambrax 22,000 uh, and 80kV motor. Absolutely mammoth amount of torque on there. Um, my only comment being uh, would be you definitely, definitely. Uh, want to dull the throttle setting back on your dual rate to as low as possible. I was just literally millimetre of throttle. Probably used no more than about three or four millimetres of throttle on that whole journey on there. Um, this thing is not about top speed. I'm not going to go out and do a GPS test on that. That's not where this motor uh, is coming from. So don't go out and buy the Castle Creations Crawler Edition brushless with a Mamba X if you're expecting this thing to go and do 50, 60 miles an hour. Why would you want to do that in a crawler anyway? That's not where this motor is coming from. Also, that drag brake, um, I've had it set on 100, for, you don't want it to set on 100% uh, for this trail because it was just a bit of a pain walking to get down here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, review. If you did, then please do subscribe and share with friends. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. Thanks for watching.